So last week I was watching this video by Steve Antonioni, How to Double Your Savings. In this video, Steve analyzes the monthly expenses of his friend in a Google spreadsheet. He then goes on to create two pivot tables, one that combines and sorts all expenses by category and one that sorts it by importance. And this allows him to pin down unnecessary expenses that can be saved. So the video is really awesome and I recommend that you watch it. There's only one slight problem. It is very tedious and Steve even admits this. So let's go have a look into the video. Simply export it. I know that sounds a bit tedious having to look at, you know, one item and then type it into Google Sheets. But this little bit of work, having to transfer things manually, do a bit of typing, can literally be the difference between you saving thousands of dollars or not. So, so while I was watching this, I thought, Wait a minute, I'm a lazy software engineer. I can automate this with Python, right? And this is exactly what I did. So now all we need is this CSV file with all the expenses and I'm sure you can download and export this from your bank or credit card account. And now here we have an empty spreadsheet and now watch this. I type one command, Python update sheets and run the script and now watch the sheets in the background. Boom, there we have it. Everything that he did in just one second. We have all the items and the amount. We even already filled out the category and the importance automatically. And now we have the two pivot tables, one that sorts it by category and one by importance. We also have the same cell formatting. So here we have bold text. Here we have this whole column in dollar formatting. And this is sorted from highest to lowest. So everything with just one Python script. So I think this is really awesome. And now I teach you how to do this with Python and the Google Sheets API. Let's get started. All right, so I already prepared all the code for you together with detailed instructions. And now we go over them together. To get the code, you can click on here and then either download this or I use git. So I copy this and go to my terminal and then I say git clone and then I paste this in and hit enter. This will clone it onto my machine. Now we can go into this directory and here we have all the files. So we can open our editor of choice and as you can see here are the exact same files that we've just seen on the website. I will explain them in a moment but first we need to set up the prerequisites. So we need an expenses CSV file. I put one with, a, with some example items in this folder already and then we need a credentials JSON file that we get through the Google Cloud platform. So we need to create a project there. For this, of course, you need a Google Cloud account, but everything that we do today is included in the free tier. So after you have an account, click on new project. And now let's give this a name. I call this finance automation and click on create. And after creation, also make sure to select this again and switch to this new finance automation project. Then we want to enable the Google Sheets API. So click on enable APIs and search for the Sheets API. There we have it. So now we can enable this. And next we need to create credentials, but first we need to fill out the consent screen. So select external and create. Then here you need to give it an app name. I give it the same name as for the project, Finance Automation. Then also select an email and I copy this because I used this two more times. One time down here for the developer contact information. Then click on save and continue. On the scope screen we can also just click on save and continue. And for the test users we need to add one and here I again use the email and click on save. And now we can finally create the credentials. So click on create. Then we want OAuth client ID and select desktop app and create. And this will create the JSON file that we can now download. So now head over to our download folder and we want to rename this to cre credentials.json. And now move this into our folder and now we have everything we need. So now we can go over and have a look at the next steps. So for this, of course, you need Python installed on your machine. And this is optional here, but I like to create a virtual environment with Python 3-mv and vnv and then activate it. So this command is slightly different on Windows, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Then install all the requirements with pip install. And this is what they also showed on the official documentation page. 
And now we can run the first script, python create sheet.py. So copy this and paste it here and hit enter. And now this will open a browser. And here select the account that we also used as test user and click on next. And then again on next. And now this was successful. So it says you may close this window. So let's close this again. And now if we have a look at the terminal, then we see this also created a sheet. So here it printed the sheets URL and the sheet ID. So let's open the URL. And as you can see, this is an empty sheet named expenses. So let's copy the sheet ID and head over to update sheet. And here in line nine, we want to copy this as our sheet ID. So paste this and save this. And now let's go over the files very briefly. So the expenses need your items and the amount separated by a comma. Then the credentials is what we just downloaded. And the first time we open the browser and log in, this will create and save the token JSON file. So the next time we can use this and don't have to open the browser again. Then we have the readme and then the create sheet. This imports the sheets utility and then it creates a service. And then we also created a sheet here. So the important files are the data loader and sheets utility. And then in update sheets, we also use these helper files. Again, we create a service and then here we define the ID. Then we get the data and then we update the sheets. So we write everything into the sheet. Then we format the cells and create two pivot tables. And then we print that this is a success. So one of the important files is the sheets utility. So let's go over this. Here I created different helper functions. The first one is the create authorized service. This loads the credentials JSON and then we have to log in. And as I said, this will create a token JSON file. So the next time we can simply use this. Then we have the create sheet function here. We create a new spreadsheet and then I print the sheet URL and the sheet ID that we copy. Then we have the update values function here. It gets the expenses. Then I defined the headers and then we add the expenses and call spreadsheets values update. Then we have the format cells function. So here we defined a request. For example, here we say text format is bold. And one column is a currency column with the pattern in this dollar format. Then here we call spreadsheets batch update. And then we have a function to create the pivot table. So this is a very long request that we built here. I recommend that you go through this by yourself. And then in the end, again, we call spreadsheets batch update. So now let's have a look at the data loader. Here I created an enum class for the category where you can define all the categories you have and an enum class for the importance. Then I also defined a class for the expense. This gets an item and a price and then we determine the category and importance automatically with this function. Here you can define your own rules. For example, if fee is an item, we return category fees and shouldn't have. If Uber Eats or pizza is an item, we return eating out and nice to have. So this might need some tweaking. Um, this you could even use machine learning here, which would be really cool. So yeah, feel free to adapt this method. And then we combine everything in the get data function where we load the CSV file and put each row as a new expense. And then we return this as list. And then we put everything together in this update sheets function. So now let's run this and try this out. Python update sheets.py. And boom, there we have it. So now everything is filled out here in this spreadsheet. All right, and that's it. I hope you really enjoyed the tutorial. If so, then please leave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.